What's up guys, YouTube? Sorry, it's windy out here. So, just wanted to give you guys a little update of what I've done so far. Which is nothing. So I got the four-wheel drive selector in here. So, that's four high, two-wheel drive, neutral, four low. Got the boot in here. As a kid, we went for a drive just down the street and back and then down the street again. Um, mainly today I've been fighting the uh, the climate control. Been running wiring. So I figured out what all these wires are. So, well, most of these wires. So, if you can see, this wire, which one is it? This wire is for seat belts. For the seat belt. This wire is for rear speakers. This is your e brake. Mm -hmm. This is for uh, cruise control. It's a light. Now these, I do not know what they're for. I have not found out what those are for yet. This, somebody knows what that is. Tell me what that is. I don't know what it is. I've looked everywhere. I took the whole steering column out. Took everything apart. Took all the relays out. Swapped all the relays around. Um, lights work. Uh, they won't work now because the battery's disconnected. Took the old, uh, Chevy, the donor truck, stuck the weather stripping, door weather stripping on, as you could see. <clears throat> so, door weather stripping's on, and it, it weirdly, it kind of fits perfect. It's actually just a little bit too long. So if I do order some more weather strip, because this one, that the passenger side is really good condition. This driver's side is pretty bad. It's all tore up. It's all bent, mangled. Um, all this is from me. From putting the bucket in the cab and taking it off the chassis. Got the seat bolted down in the front. Four-wheel drive does work. Four low, four high. All that works. Um, but when I hold the brake in four low... The back wheel spin. So, anyway, on to the back. <clears throat> the back, we got some work done back here. TIG welded this this bar in that supports these uh, bag brackets. Because I was noticing when I'd uh, bounce the truck, they'd flex. So those the tops would flex up and uh, up and down. I do have all the bolts for all the uh, links all tight. Compressor, everything's holding air. It held air overnight. It held it at I had it at uh, 40 psi, or maybe it was in 50 as yeah, 50 as 50 psi. It held 50 psi all night. So. <clears throat> um, the bed, the back of the bed will come up. It'll come up a little bit. Um, I want to say about a half an inch. I think it's a half inch. The back of the bed has to come up. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just put in some uh, rubber spacers in the back. I think it's a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. And... Uh, yeah, it drives, it runs. Um, the gas tank, I think what I'm going to have to do for this bed is I'm going to have to cut this up and then down. Cut like a channel in there. <clears throat> and I'll have to move the fuel gas tank 
Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, I was thinking I'm going to have to move it down more, but I think once I get this cut and when I, once I tighten it all, it'll bring it level because right now that gas tank's sitting. I mean, it's it's sitting down pretty far over here. And then uh, once I get that done, oh, I have to make, I'm going to have to make shock brackets. Uh, some shock absorber brackets, either some uh, dropouts, however it's going to be. It'll probably be something from out here to this way. Um, I'll just build something out because that's where the shock is going to mount, right down there. So I want to have it to where the shock can travel with the suspension. So, I don't want to have anything weird and crazy on it. So, once I, once I weld up and fab up some of those, I think I'm going to park the truck in the garage. And uh, once I park the truck in the garage, I'm going to take the rear axle out. Fully weld all the tabs, all the brackets. <clears throat> weld that all, all up. Paint the rear diff. Um... And then I'll come back here in the back of the truck, uh, paint the the arms, finish all this back here. I don't know, this is kind of temporary right here. Um, obviously the hoses and everything's gonna go in the cab. Um, but I haven't figured that out yet. Um, so once I do that, uh, weld up everything back here. So I gotta finish. I'm gonna run, run along. This is just flux core MIG weld because, as you can tell, it's always windy outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the TIG over it. So I'm gonna run the TIG over all this, all this inside here. I'll probably have to lift the rear of the truck up high enough to get the TIG weld under where I C notched it. Um, but I, if I can't to TIG weld it, I'll just MIG underneath. I just want a good, strong weld. Um, but yeah, I think that is the plan. And then I'll have to move the cab back. <clears throat> so that's going to go up. So we got a, about a half inch gap difference between here to there. So once I bring that back up uh, it'll get rid of this gap and then I'll move the bed there the cab back about an inch maybe three quarters of an inch I don't know yet and then uh, yeah then once all this is done back here I'll probably I gotta grind off all the all the old crap that's down there all the old bed mounts and all the other junk Grind all that off, so I'll take the bed off, obviously. Grind all that junk up. And uh, and then I'll go on to the front, and then I'll take the, the front clip off. And then I'll start welding everything and seam sealing everything in the cab because I have all the wiring that I need. There isn't going to be any more wiring. Um, if anything, I can clean up some of the wiring. Um... Like this, this here is for a radio, so I can keep that. That's a cigarette lighter for the ashtray. This is for the lights for the four wheel drive. This, I don't know what that is. Um, a light. Um, uh, now I'm having a brain fart. Um, But yeah, that's why I'm glad I I'm glad I kept the old truck. Um, for everything. Like I said, that seatbelt. This is for the uh, cruise control. Your speakers. Um, but anyway, oh yeah, that. Oh, that's right. Was it this one? I believe it was this one. This one is for the cab light. 
because it's the same color which I thought was weird it's the same color as this connector the orange and white and orange and white it's weird Chevy just kept everything the same <clears throat> so um, I'll figure that out I'll just probably wire that in and I'll end up keeping that light so anyway moving forward on project crack pipe um, if you listen to the door no more rattle because it was doing this while it was running now it doesn't and obviously once I figure all this stuff out um, the front end weld everything I'll get it all but it's been hot it was 95 degrees today burning up kept on having to go inside um, anyway so I think that's right height for the rear right height for the rear the front's gonna go down about an inch for right height what I'm gonna try to do with the front is I'm gonna try to clock the torsion bars one so it's shaped like a hex um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the key out I uh, can't remember how I was gonna do it I'm gonna take the key out and raise it all the way up and try to catch a key and if that doesn't work I'm gonna go down and if none of that works I'm gonna take the torsion bars out completely and go with uh, which I'll probably end up doing anyway it's just an air sh air shock uh, I'll have to measure those out so I'm gonna try to measure when I do the rear and then when I do the front so anyway all right guys that's gonna be it I'm gonna go in I'm burnt out for today uh, but yeah that's pretty much it all right guys thanks for watching comment subscribe do what you guys do thank you guys for subscribing if you've already subscribed all right guys talk to you guys on the next one later